Welcome back to some more Hikikomori. There's been yet another break since the last episode, and uh, you all know why at this point. And if you don't, that's too bad. But we're here, we're playing Omori again, we're in black space, and today is May 17th. What? <laughs> Holy shit, it goes fast. I thought it was like, you know, the 14th or something, but yeah. More than half of this month has already passed. I, I really can't believe it. But here we are. We're playing and we're gonna explore more of black space. Now, I don't remember. Did the door disappear the last time? Is this the same one? We could just stab ourselves in order to escape, right? Yeah, so you can revisit all of these rooms. Unlike the first time we visited black space. So, begin the episode by stabbing himself. That's great. Speaking of great, I hope everybody who is watching this is doing great. And um, I don't know exactly how to start or say, I'm just mumbling at this point. In terms of this episode, uh, explore some of these doors, not all of it, um, depending on how much uh, content there actually is in Black Space 2.0. <laughs> uh, this room we do recognize. We saw this after Abby, and it seems to be the exact same, yeah, with Aubrey there, and we can't approach her. Now, I wonder why this is. Like, w why did the door at Beyond Abbey lead to this place? Is there some significance? I don't know. The weather vane is pointing east. But it doesn't change direction, right? Oh, it does. Okay, so maybe we can do something here now. As I said, the, there has been a break, but I don't remember that the weather vane changing direction the first time. Could be. And in terms of outside of the game, um, yeah, as always, it's just a huge task in order to talk about where I am and how I am, both mentally and physically and all that shit. But um, I can start by saying that uh, the house I lived in for three and a half years has been sold. And in a very short notice, the new owner is going to take over on the 1st of June. So two weeks ago now, I went up to Gothenburg and stayed there for a week, uh, cleaning out, helping, emptying the house and all of that. So that was, um, yeah, that was pretty tough, you know? Also mentally, because you also lived there for some time. I had my retro set up, my CRT, I also did a little stream there. Hopefully you did see that. I might make some highlights of it. And so I played on the CRT and I cleaned out the house and I, I did get some help from my friends and family, so that was amazing. Huge shout out to Dury, who also played through this game actually. But uh, who were there and helped me out. And as thanks, he got my old speaker system. Wait, what? We can't... Okay, so something is definitely changing here. It's pointing north. So is there anything we can do up here? Oh, now I see. Okay, okay. So this one didn't go anywhere last time. How about now? No, nothing. But all in all, it went great. The house has been emptied of all of my stuff and cleaned out and uh, the CRT fortunately uh, is now in storage I was very afraid that I had to throw it away but oh oh some nice uh, stock images oops I did not mean to do that huh. <laughs> okay it just kind of looks very cheaply done it's just RPG maker a uh, transparent background and a stock image on top of it but hey it's black space. What, what else can you expect? It, it continues. Okay. I wonder, is this image taken by the maker of this game? Because I don't, I don't recognize this image. Although, supposedly, there should be a lot of stock images on the internet. But it, it, it's interesting for me if it is by the maker of this game or not. All of these realistic photos. How much of it is stock and how much is from him. Although it does look very unnatural, you know, the, hor the horizon right here? How it just clips to the cloudy sky. There's definitely something wrong with it. And, you know, that makes sense in black space sense, so... I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Now, is it just me or is it... Yeah, I think it is repeating. It should be the exact same every time. Right? Yeah, it is. So... Oh, it's the number song. I think it's uh, French, right? In the background, if you listen closely. No, it's it's German, right? I'm not uh, super good with uh, distinguishing European languages, but I would guess it's uh, German. Either way, this song is in the soundtrack and it's called Numbers, I believe. So you can just listen to it and let old cream snow. Oh, it actually doesn't repeat. That is amazing. Black Space gets more and more interesting the more we play this. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Is that the... Oh! It was a fin- That was a finger in a fucking uh, thread! What's this? No, dude, you, you can't just- you can't just show that just a little bit and tease me and then it's over? But yeah, I, I guess that's it. Wow. Now, I don't think anyone out there knows about this, but... Um, like 14 years ago, I actually made a couple of um, quick games in RPG Maker. Uh, do note that I never really finished a game, but I did make a lot of silly short games with some illogical, you know, teleportations and shit like that. Oh wait, okay, I th thought we could get closer than before, but nope, I think we have to respect her boundaries. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with that. Unless there's a teleport here somewhere. I hope the uh, the weather vane... You know, opens up a hidden door... For each um, direction, but it doesn't seem like I can find anything... Here. Unless there's a special way to approach Aubrey. Doesn't seem to be the case. Although, if I am missing something here, and someone who is watching this uh, knows, then let, let me know. I would really appreciate it. But yes, let's uh, switch to the weather vane again. So, where was I? I talked about the house. It's, it's been cleaned out. Now, it, it was kind of fun. I did one of those mobile streams. Super basic in terms of quality. It's just a mobile streaming directly. Oh, hero! Oh, it's the same thing here. God damn it. And it's not like I'm I'm supposed to walk up to him slowly. I, I can't. It doesn't make a difference. Or is it the same thing as with um, that stock image of the sea? Like, if we just keep on going, maybe eventually we can go there? Because the glitchy nature of this image is it's different every time. Or I would guess it's randomized. It, it would be. Yeah, I don't think anything is going to happen. And it is <laughs> mild, mildly disturbing. So yeah, Hero, I'll let you be. H hope you're figuring it out. But yeah, that uh, very low quality, primitive stream I did. It was uh, really fun in a way, because I normally have this insane quality to my streams and videos. Like, I, I nitpick so much on the quality and I spend way too much time making sure the quality is as good as it can be. And also, in terms of this episode right here, I have already planned, right now after I'm done recording this, I'm gonna spend like an hour in Cubase trying to perfect the quality of, um, you know, the commentary with EQ settings and things like that. And maybe you will hear a difference between the last episode and this one. I don't know. But for some reason, I, I think it's fun to challenge myself. Like, how good can I make it? I have this expensive equipment. I have my silly ass voice. How good can I make it? And at the same time, I'm also comparing it to my, you know, the golden age of Crim's commentary when it was a little bit more raw, especially the live streams. And I don't want my commentary to be too processed. It doesn't, it, it's not supposed to be too, yeah, processed. It has to be a little bit natural. Like, if I listen to my older streams where there were no effects whatsoever, it sounded very raw. There was a lot of room noise and uh, there was no compression, so when I yelled, it was really loud. 
but that's also very natural. You know, if you are in the same room as me and I yell, of course it's louder. But with these processing uh, elements like compression and shit, if I yell, it's more or less in the same volume as my normal speaking voice, which makes it easier to listen to. You don't have to adjust the volume all the time. So it's a very hard uh, path to balance, right? You want it to sound professional and good and easy to listen to, especially when you have dynamic commentary such as myself with the yelling randomly and shit like that. It is difficult and that's the challenge and that's what I really enjoy about it. Okay, so what I can see here is that only north opens up a new pathway. West and east only makes us uh, barely approach Aubrey and Hero. And south I can't even make up here. Uh, I can't approach Kel either, so... I do believe we're done here. But the last door we went through, it took us back to black space. Right? D did I stab myself? Fuck. I, sh I should uh, watch the episode before recording, but... I'm wondering, am I forced to stab myself in order to get out of here? I don't want to miss any of these... Um, Unique rooms and doors. Oh, there is one! Holy shit! It's not the one we... Uh, we came from, right? Hopefully... Oh! was a little squeaky sound. Yeah, you see, see? I was... I was pretty close to stab myself and go to the next door, but here we are! Oh, this song is called... Um... Come and See? I believe? Shit, I, I need to study these, um, these uh, titles a bit more. I, I used to know all of the Undertale um, tracks by heart, and also by number. And I do know some of them, like uh, the Undertale song is uh, 71, the first on disc 2, and stuff like that. But um, of course it, it vanishes after some time. And now this game is kind of my new found love. And I want to go full out nerd on it and learn all the tracks and all the numbers. But Omori has over 200 tracks. Or is it 141? Somewhere around there. There's a lot of tracks. And this seems to be the same deal. We just keep on going until something different happens. Now this room, is it supposed to symbolize Basil's house or room? With the, the flower or vine theme. We also heard this song when we you know, hung out with Basil in Black Space. And this track is really cool. I don't know what it is about it, but it just sounds like a... Abby? Oh, it's looking at me. That's pretty damn creepy. Who is this? Now, do keep in mind, it's been a while since we did the good ending and we talked to all those characters in Faraway Town. So, is this... It's not the one who took care of Basil. Oh! It's getting distorted when we're... Behind it, for some reason. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's not linear! So we're back at the... Oh, we're not back at the start. Oh shit, okay, it doesn't matter where we go, it just... It keeps on changing? Oh... Man... It, it's getting really dark. And I don't appreciate this, there's gonna be something weird. <laughs> of course, like what are you expecting at this point? And the music changed. This room... Oh, there's something... What is that? There's something black silhouette just just above us which we can't walk into or react with a lamp no and that is a mountain of kakadoki like what is that and also this monitor is a tn panel so it it, it gets really weird towards um, the black levels brother i'm so glad you're here Mary? Wait, is that the, the something silhouette? It's kind of in the middle, but a tiny bit to the right. 
Man, I forgot how creepy this game is. It doesn't help by starting an episode after a break in Backspace 2.0, so... What are we to do here? Well, it seems to be very happy that I'm here, so... I don't have the heart of uh, to leave it. It's gonna stay here? It's gonna hang out? We can't run? This track I haven't heard before, or it might be one of the Black Space tracks, but slowed down. Oh, it is um, the previous track, but slowed down, I believe. Okay. What, what I wonder is that Black Space 2.0, is it filled with all of these cryptic um, secrets? Like, uh, it, like, if I was making this game, I would find it very fun and interesting to add a bunch of secrets that are really damn cryptic. Maybe you're supposed to walk five circles around this lamp and then press on it two times and that opens up a new hidden pathway. Like, I, I would do that. I would put so many cryptic shit in my game in a place like this. And then hope that someday, maybe, uh, the fans will find it and they will spread videos on it. It kind of reminds me of um, Near Automata. There was this secret where you can end the game very early by standing between two barrels and something and press a, a secret combination of buttons and you end the game. There's a secret ending right there. And it took a long ass time for people to find it. And the, the, the game's director... You know, he was so happy, he went out on Twitter and was like, Congratulations, you found the last secret. And I wonder, is Omori also filled with these cryptic secret secrets? I really hope so. But I, I can't believe I will find all of them. And maybe this is all. And that's once again, you know, the closure aspect. In my mind, this room... Should have something else like there's something in this room. I'm missing Or maybe there isn't but not knowing is the magic part of it if I Open up this room in the game makers toolkit or whatever and I saw all the programming and all the codes and whatever and There's nothing in this room that would be so much you know, more boring than how I am experience it, experiencing it right now So yeah you know me by this point. And that I think that's it. Right? Yeah, it, it repeats. Oh, it's it's locked now. Okay. Now, as I said before, I need to replay this game, uh, the good ending, and do more of um, Faraway Town. I didn't do some of the quests there, you know, especially the medicine with the granny. So I want to explore the faraway town more and learn, yeah, learn more about um, Sonny's past and his hometown. Because I, I still don't know who Abby is. And hopefully there's something in the deep lore of this game where we can figure it out. Or maybe we shouldn't figure it out. I don't know, but either way, I am very intrigued and I want to figure out more things. It also seems like the game is being updated from time to time. Right now it's the version 1.08. And I believe when we started this commentary back in February, it was 1.5, right? Some may maybe. So the game is being updated, maybe some bug fixes here and there. Most likely, but I don't know. Wait. There we, we can't go here. And the weather vane is pointing west. But maybe there should be something, like a door? Man, are we gonna spend this much time in each black space room? Then this uh, series is gonna be much longer than I expected. Which I, I am happy for. I don't want it to end. I could spend a lot of time here. The only thing I'm afraid of with is um, the entertainment value in terms of my commentary. Like, I don't want to get stale and boring and repeat myself all the time. I don't know. We shall see. Aubrey, help me, please. 
So when it's pointing west, does uh, this door down here disappear? Yeah, it does. Or we can't access it anymore. No, we can't. We have found two doorways so far. And why can't it point south? Maybe there's a very low chance, because it seems to be random. Pointing east. I want to try the ladder now. I just want to see if you can actually access that room. Yeah, you see? Of course. And I'm not gonna do one of those things I did before, like I will cut to when something happens. At this point, we're so far into this game. If people are actually watching this, that's amazing, but... I'm not gonna force myself to edit and cu uh, cut out too many parts anymore. You always have the power of fast-forwarding, so go ahead. And also, I found it very interesting that in the last... Uh, no, the last comment, yeah, I got on one of the parts, I think it was part 6. And in that episode, I was talking about this exact same thing, that yeah, you can skip ahead. And then later on in the episode, I was talking like... Is anyone even watching this part right now? We're like one hour in, who is watching this? And the guy actually, you know, skipped right to that part. And I, I found that very interesting or wholesome. West, okay. Yeah, that door is not there. God fucking damn it! And there's nothing with this grave thing, right? I've been here many times now. Yeah, you know what? I think we're done here for now. If anyone knows that I'm missing something here, uh, please let me know. That would be... Very nice. But for now, we're gonna stab ourselves and head to the next room. I am happy with what we did discover on our own, at least. Here we are. Might as well save after that one. Why not? Yeah, half an hour in one door. Why not? Let's see. We will go clockwise. Why not? And also we have this lack of... Um, yeah, no light bulb. I wonder, is there a way to find one in this new black space? And we will most likely not spend the entire episode in black space. I don't want it to get too stale. So we might go to Humphrey and try to beat one of the hearts. The, the, the weird heart, mutant heart. Probably not perfect heart. I don't know if I'm prepared for that, but we could give it a try. We, we should have a chance, maybe. Man, this looks really weird. It's like a quarter of a ladder and oh okay so just one of those fishes okay so what can we expect to find here some more hidden rooms i would assume yeah there, there's one there's a freaking web in the way and there's a house oh Now that's a goddamn fucking tease! Okay. And it's not like we can switch characters. Oh, there we go. You are afraid. Well, thank you, game. Yeah, you know... That's correct. But there's also the fact that there's a freaking door here! And I would like to enter it, please. Hmm. House? House time! Hey! It's a slow version of... Um, space uh, drifting, right? Yeah, it, it should be. Tomato boy, sprout mode. Wow, it's, it feels so weird to see these characters again. They call me Pillow Hider. 
I'm a master of hiding pillows. I'll find your fucking pillow. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I talk to him and I go straight through it. What the fuck? Okay. And we can walk through... Oh, okay. So it's not making too much sense. That's great. I'm happy with this. Veggie kid. My favorite pillow disappeared again. I just can't sleep without it. So is this like a mini quest? We're gonna find the pillow. Get past that guy. Now, has this happened before? That black space has the exact same, like, tone... Uh, ...visuals as, um, headspace. But with, uh, you know, slow down music, of course. I don't remember that. Black space has always been very dark and weird, but this is, um... I don't know what to make of it. Did you find it yet? You're in, you're in, oh, there! Oh, he switches places with the pillow! Well, he definitely is a master pillow hider. He can swap living objects with pillows whenever he wants. Yeah, I did find it, but um, I don't know what to make of it. Will he swap back now? There we go. We found a pillow. Nice. Let's uh, check out the description of it, if we can. It's a toy? No? Snack? <laughs> Why doesn't it appear in our inventory? Is it because it's uh, black space? This looks like a job for Aubrey. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. You'll get your pillow soon, dude. You just need to... Oh, that doesn't look nice. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this. Mixing headspace with black space imagery. Not a big fan. But at the same time, I'm very into... Ha oh, ha. Oh. Hey, here's the pillow. Omori! Omori! Yeah? What's up? I really wonder what went into the mind of the... Yeah, the game maker. When he, when he made these rooms, like... Is it just fuck about as much as possible? No! God damn it! Okay, where is he? Got your pillow, man. There you go. This isn't my pillow, but thanks anyway. At least he had the decency of thanking me. I, I appreciate that. Woo! I do like this uh, slow version, actually. If it was a little bit faster, it would be a nice um, rendition, but now it's just a bit cursed. Not too much. Just enough uh, amount of cursed. Omori. Oh. There was a sound effect right here. I do like the texture work is weird as well. And also the collision. Like sometime. Wait, what? Aubrey? Just gonna destroy this crate? Wait a second. Is the game teasing me? Or are we actually supposed to find Aubrey and smash these things? That would make me really happy, actually. Oh, Mori. Or he could just make these impossible places. Like, he, he teases you with these keys and shit. They're like, oh, Aubrey, get the key and progress down here. Or it could just be a big middle finger. Maybe you, you can't progress. And I think that's the case. Like, where the fuck would we find Aubrey here? And it wouldn't even be our Aubrey. It would just be some twisted... <laughs> ...edition. <laughs> but it is definitely teasing me. If we get this pillow, we need to give it to someone. It's not the right pillow. We need Aubrey, and like... <laughs> and that makes me mad, because I don't want to leave this place. I don't want to leave 
this door for fear of missing out, like I kind of almost did in the last room. Why is this so difficult? Omri, can't you just use your knife and cut open the boxes, grab the key? Well, see you later, Sproutmall. I'm done here. This game gives me nothing, man. Am I still afraid? Yep. I need the game to tell me that because I'm not sure anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, on a random note, I am very happy that I went back to recording commentary with um, a large diaphragm microphone, which I'm using right now. Because I, I did, uh, as I mentioned before, I did some comparisons in terms of quality and how it sounded back in the day, in 2012 and 13. And how it sounds. I'm in a freaking pot and I find Hero in his kitchen? Or it's our kitchen, but with no with no entryway to the living room. Hello, Hero. Hey, Omori. Are you hungry? I was just about to cook something up, but I'm missing some important ingredients. Why don't you find some and bring it back to me? I think that was his voice. Blender time! You are afraid. Yeah, but I think I'm hungry too. This is about to cook something. But... Dude, I, I... I can't help you, I'm afraid, damn it! How do I get... Not afraid? Stare? I'm not afraid, I don't see any status effects. God damn it. Okay, so continue uh, on my train of thought there. So, there was a period uh, after, let's see, 2015, I believe, or 16, when I started to use a small diaphragm microphone, a road shotgun microphone to record my commentary. And in terms of signal to noise ratio, it was really damn good, which also helped in that place because there was a lot of traffic outside and, you know, rubble. Uh, low frequency bass sounds from the traffic and shit. So that microphone worked really well in terms of uh, yeah, signal to noise. But my commentary sounded so... <sighs> What's the word? I, I, ca I can't find the English word for it, but... Um, I'll probably figure it out, but... So small, <laughs> I mean, of course. <laughs> Small and tiny, and uh, there was no power in it, right? It was very weak sounding. Very clean, but weak and um, shallow sounding. And it just it didn't have the same energy, right? Especially when you do all of that screaming shit and reacting. It just, I don't know, it didn't feel right when I compared them f front to back. But then I compared you know, the old commentary to the new ones... Uh, specifically from Omori with this microphone and my types of quality processing I have right now in Cubase with my compression levels and EQ expander and all that shit. And the quality now, I believe, most likely after this episode, if I spend a little bit more time with EQ to make it more even, I think in terms of quality, my commentary is better than ever. I just need to find a peace of mind so I can um, go back to more genuine high energy commentary and not force myself too much. And this series has been very good uh, for that. I've been able more than usual to not force myself too much with this series. It, it fits very well with the theme of the game and you know mental issues and my own mental issues. What, what the fuck? While recording this game? Oh, it's a secret pa passage! Wait, I don't know why, but... Okay, I do know why. This reminds me of uh, Secret of Evermore Act 2, um, the temple where you get the bronze spear. You have this uh, square room, and there's a secret pas passageway 
down left right here. And not only that, it follows the exact same path. Left, down, right. Holy shit. And I've found many things in this game that reminds me of Secret to Evermore. And I just now noticed that Sunny is in the bathtub. But yeah. This is cool. I like it. So, in terms of mental health, it has been a roller coaster this year and last year and so on. I'm really trying to find peace so I can record and have fun without forcing myself too much. Because I have to be completely honest with everyone that recording commentary and making these caps, the, these time capsules, which I can go back and visit anytime, uh, this right here, maybe in 10 years, I'm gonna listen to this part right here. And they kind of compare and... What the fuck? And reminisce and... Um, for good and for bad. So... It's very special to me. And that has been my goal f since I started making commentary. It has never really been about building a big audience, becoming famous, earning money. Never really, dude. I, I would appreciate it. It would be fun, of course. But I, I do this mostly for myself. And uh, sometimes I have even joked about saying that, like, Creams, I'm your biggest fan! Like, I talk to my... What the fuck is going on, dude? Oh! oh! Stop it, man! I'm trying to talk about my commentary feelings! Why am I so slow? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Okay. Um, I've joked many times when I talk to myself in that uh, audience voice, like, and hey, creams. <laughs> what? Oh, lightning. Cool. And I say, creams, I'm your biggest fan. And I've actually yeah, said many times that, that that's true. Like, I am my own biggest fan. And, and the reason for that is also because I've done this for almost 12 years. And the thing is that it has been you know, up and down in terms of um, consistency. Whoa, you can stab yourself in water? Cool. And so, the viewers I had back then, 10 years ago, are not the same viewers I have now for the most part. Like, I think that this series, Omori, has brought in some new viewers, and I'm happy with that. But in terms of the Crims viewers and the old classic viewers, you know, they move on, of course. I wouldn't listen to my shit for <laughs> 12 years. Okay, I would. Because it's me, of course, but still. What I'm saying is that old viewers go, new viewers come in, and I feel kind of alone because I'm the only one of course, since I'm the one making it, who knows these other times, how it was before, and the old quotes. And I do have some friends who remember that time, who are still around, namely Lakota Warrior, 84, and... Oh, nice. And Aceback, of course. I am very happy that they are still here. I don't know if they watch this, you know, the, old, the new commentary, but they're still around. And so we can still quote those old things. What? I don't want this, dude. No, don't bring me back for fuck's sake! No! No, I messed it up, dude! Wait, I did not. We're back in the beginning of... Fuck. I really need to stop that. Okay, let's go back. So where was I? I think I was done with that. And we can't go back! <laughs> Do I have to reload my save for fucking hell? I was about I was about to make a comment on you know oh, so much progress we're making this episode. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. We're in black space. But I'm not letting this game win. I am going to explore it. You can't fucking stop me. If the boat isn't working now, I'm gonna get scared. Like what? Am I doing different? Come on, boat, help me out! Yes! Okay, this time, no fucking around. We're going down that ladder. Probably nothing is gonna be there, and everything will be for naught. But hey. I'm doing this either way. So, 
I think I'm done with that, but yeah. <laughs> Can I move? Thanks. Mm. Let's go up this time. So, in the end, that's how it is. I get... I become like my only fan who knows all of this shit. And it sounds really, really stupid to say. But it is for myself and later in the future I can look back on these episodes and I can remember the time and I can think and compare and reminisce. So just want to be clear on that. I'm doing this for myself and I think that's worth it enough. Because let's also be honest that making commentary for like 12 years on and off and you have like 10, maybe 20 viewers per video. Of course, I appreciate it. Every single one. I think it's so much fun. I'm very happy that people are watching. But then again, 12 years, 10 to tw 20 viewers per video. Yeah, you know, doesn't sound good on paper. Hey, we're here now. It's uh, well time. Let's see if it loops if we go left. I am also very happy that we're hearing new tracks in the game because I have been listening to the soundtrack. There are a couple of songs I have skipped. Uh, namely one song with lyrics that I haven't listened to yet and I don't know how to uh, unlock it or hear it in the game. I would assume is that you let Omori win at the end of the good ending. So it, it's it's bad ending and you take suicide. But still, I haven't listened to it yet because I want to hear it in the game. And Emily is doing the same thing. She has a soundtrack uh, because I bought it and sent it to her. But she hasn't listened to it until I am done with this series. And I can I can appreciate that. So why not? This is also the Come and See song, right? Yep! I am happy I did not miss this. New textures. New music. No? Just some ambience? Oh, it's it's a slowed down version of one of the Black Space songs. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what's the significance here? What's with the two beds and like a basement and a well? <laughs> no, don't do this! I'm stuck. I am stuck. I don't know. Am I even moving? Oh, black keys. What does it say? FFT? PPT? Bob Bobby? Bobby? Y you? You? Why am I? I'm. I'm sorry. Uh. Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry that I went down here. <laughs> and and I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Uh, this is really heavy on me. This is this is disturbing. It's sad. It's fucked up. And I'm also scared, you know, the game is saying that, you are afraid. That's, f it's fucking true, dude! Well, that's it. Am I supposed to press them in the right order? No? <sighs> Hope I'm not missing anything down there. I need to save my mental energy for the heart fights, god damn it! You know what, we're gonna go there right after this door. Speaking of door. I want to see if we can get past uh, that one up there that said you are afraid with the spider web. Any day now. Thanks. Oh, that was a weird transition. Uh, we might as well do the hero thing as well. 
maybe this will unlock the door. You are afraid. Are you hungry? I would like some steak. I would like some beef. Can you make it to me right now? Okay. Hero, please. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And I'm in danger. No, you know what? I'm not in danger. I am the danger. A guy knocks on the fucking door is gonna shoot you in the face? No. I am the one who knocks. Wow, that's, uh, that was so weak. Please, Crims, don't do that ever again. I won't. But at least let me get through this freaking door. I'm not afraid anymore, dude. I can cut this web all day. Yeah. You are afraid. What do you want me to do? Stab myself? I have to do this place as well, maybe? Is that what unlock unlocks it? Oh no, not this. Shit, so now the game thinks I haven't done this room right because I loaded my save file. You know what? If that's the case, I don't give a fuck. I'm done here. Good night. I'm gonna go and do some battles. I want some actual gameplay, please. I do hope that you know that I'm joking. So, save. I would like to exit, please. Back to white space. Welcome to white space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. I can't believe... It's been... It's been three months. More? No, it has been three months since we started this series. And I remember my... My innocence. <laughs> I didn't know anything. And that feeling will only ever exist once. And so I am happy that I did record this episode. My friends! Hi, Omori! I'm so happy to see you! Hey, Omori, welcome back. Are we ready to go? Yep, let's go. All right, everyone, let's go exploring. Cat-shaped hole. Did we get all of the rewards? I think we did. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Goodbye. Yeah, we have everything we need. We have the best weapon, the baseball, the flower crown. Oh yeah, of course, now I remember. The last resort strategy. Oh, that's gonna be insane. Old reliable. That's good, that's good. Cough mask. I'm gonna destroy the mutant. Yeah. Well, it feels nice to be in, our, uh, in headspace again. We have all our friends. We have Basil. I'm happy. Hi, everyone. We have our photo album and I love this. I, I wish I was part of this group of friends. I'm so grateful to have friends like you. I'll cherish you all forever. And Mary, of course, I missed you so much. Hi, Omori. Cliff faced as usual, I see. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, do you need to help me with... <laughs> need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. Yeah, I I'm fine. I'm fine. I have my friends. I couldn't get the cool noodle. Because Van is... I mean, barely is... Busy with nothing. Well, everything is good. Hope and hope. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> talk to him. He's just gonna scream all the time. Uh, here we go. We are venturing to... Uh, Humph- if Deep well. Wait, hold on, I'm not ready yet! You better make yourself ready, Kel. We're off. Okay, we wanna go to, um... Deep well. And then Humphrey. We're gonna fuck up some hearts. Are we really gonna try the sweetheart battle now? Do I dare? That's the question. Let's see, it's uh, last resort. This music is tasty, I like it. Yep, let's go. 
speaking of tasty, this one is even better. There it is. It's so good. <laughs> it's R type. Speaking of R type, I did play um, uh, the new R type game, the final two. It's pretty damn good and faithful to the original. But goddamn, it's it, it is difficult. But so was uh, the original game, so no worries. We flushed ourselves down to Humphrey. And further down the shitter we go. I wonder if something happens with Humphrey once we dealt with all of the secret bosses. Now, where do we find them? That I don't know. I know where to find Perfect Heart, of course. But um, where do we battle the, the Mutant Heart, for example? We shall see. Wanna save here? Yeah. We'll wait. Humphrey time. Hey, how's it going, sweetheart? <laughs> she best. Oh, it's it's right here. No, it's just a statue, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go from yeah, left to right. Why not? Is this the way? Hard, clunky body? Nope. Oh, here it is. Oh. Having no body is so convenient. We should have thought of this sooner. <laughs> okay. Now, I might be wrong here, but how do you engage in these uh, secret battles? I really don't have to, uh, you know, need to bring up the phone or something and... Search on that shit. Maybe they're around Humphrey somewhere? Hmm. Did you drink the mystery potion yet? Please enjoy it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, no. Pocket toys? No? Is it? No, it's uh, important. <laughs> it really is. Um, let's see. No? Snacks? It's not, it's not snacks. It must be toys. Oh yeah, potion, there we go. I thought it was concoction or something. There we go, look at him. He's amazing. Yeah, I did. Aren't you looking at me? Dubious concoction, that, that's good. Yeah, I, I think I'll have to look it up because I don't know. I'm not finding anything. Or maybe it's this one first and the other one unlocks afterwards? I sure hope so. Where's my chainsaw? Oh, we're supposed to... Yeah, okay, so last time we pet... Uh, let's try poke. You poked mutant heart. Mutant heart poked you back. Oh, and if we fight her, she will fight us back. Okay, I don't want to do this. Like, in a, in a video game, <laughs> in a story perspective, I don't want to do this. In a gameplay perspective, let's fucking do it! You know? The effects of the mystery potion were off. Aww. Uh, uh, you know? Angry, please. Wait, what? Okay, so it's one of these battles, like a puzzle? She wants us to be angry? Is that it? Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and stare. And then we'll use... Um, yeah, air horn, I guess. Or does she want to be angry? We'll, we'll, we'll try to be angry. We'll see what happens. So... Um, what else? Double anger... And then maybe, let's see, mesmerize. Makes them happy. Yeah, I don't think we want that though. Well, we'll start with mesmerize and see what happens. Mesmerize. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is this good enough? 
mutant heart feels uncomfortable. Uh, okay. We're all enraged. Nice. Wings at hero. It was kind of cute. Oh. Wrong. Oh god. She's wrong. Angry, please. Okay, so she wants. She wants to be angry. I get it now. I need. How was I supposed? How was I supposed to know? Uh, let's see. Not. Not Dino Jam. We want Life Jam. Okay then. <laughs> angry horn on. Oh, we don't. How am I supposed to? I don't have any items to make... Shit! You know, we're fucked. We're straight up fucked. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, let's just try to attack her and see what happens. So, red hands. <laughs> Last resort. Oh my god. Uh, let's try it. And on top of that, it's gonna be a critical hit. And she's enraged. So, tickle. It's uh, not a moving attack, but good enough, maybe. Holy shit. Will she counterattack? No? Okay. Here we go. Okay, let, let's, let's see. Bam! Yeah, okay, okay. 3,200. Uh. Says something mean. Omori feels angry. Oh, he's furious now. That's good. Happy, please. Uh, it's only us left, of course. <sighs> Final strike. Exploit. How much health? Oh, she's almost dead, though. Uh, we'll do final strike. And then snack. Bring back the man. Jam packets. No, we need to save those, possibly. Mori be scary though. Okay, so it was pretty damn easy. We didn't need to follow her rules. She just did a one hit kill move. It's fine. No! You see, this is what I don't want in terms of story. I want her to live. Get back to my experiments. Okay, so nothing different there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off with saving. Maybe. <sighs> I could make a new save, of course, but... I don't want Mut Mutant Heart to be dead. You know, we did spare Abby, so that's okay, but I don't want to destroy them. So will the other ones unlock now? Can we do the metal, the robot heart? No? Okay. We could give Perfect Heart a try. Yeah, it's not here. Okay, fine. We'll give it one try. I'll see if I can remember my strategy, but uh, it should be fine. What's this? Are you challenging me to a fight? Oh, you don't want to do that. Are you sure about this? Yep. Oh, I see. I think it's fair to warn you that you might regret this decision, so... I'll ask again, are you sure you want to challenge me? Are you really, really sure? Alright then, if that's what you wish, I won't be holding back. Bring it! Oh my god, music. Ultimate gamer move. I'm ready. Yeah, I did, but I'm gonna stare at your ass. I'm gonna... What was it now? Sad? Was that the thing? What was our strat? Yeah, to be sad, because we get more defense. So sad. And uh, double sad. Oh, this music, dude. What else? What else? Uh, yeah, make them happy. That's what we want. We want to be sad and they, they should be happy. So act first, make her happy. Man, I'm really pumped. I think this is gonna be extremely difficult. 
Whew. She's uncomfortable. We're all depressed. Perfect. <laughs> okay, are we gonna start attacking right away? I mean, why not? I kind of want to make her uh, ecstatic. But we'll go ahead and um, do some attacks. Last resort. Reduce defense. Can we do that? Counter. Beat down. Yeah, I'll do uh, last resort uh, soon. We'll, we'll start with this. So, tickle. And make her. We also need to heal ourselves. God damn it. But uh, we'll do this one. Makes them happy again. Hopefully we can make her ecstatic. No, she can't get happier. God damn it! Well, that wasn't much. 31. Bam! Moving and critical hit. That's what I like to see. Okay, I'm not... Too shabby. Okay, uh, full heal on uh, Kel, right? So red hands. Oh, she we already did uh, quite a bit of damage on her, so that's nice. We'll continue with beat down and tickle. Unless. Uh, Kel dies now, because she's faster than Kel, right? Maybe. Okay, it's time to heal up. Uh, let's see, what do we want to use? Or we can use tank with Mesmerize. That should be a valid strategy. But at the same time, we need to heal up, so we'll do that. What's the best thing we have? Fully heals a friend's juice. You know, not, some, not, really, not really what I want. Fully revives. We don't have a normal full heal, right? There we go, the snow cone. We have five of those. And raises all stats for the battle. That's great. It's really, really good. 250. Yeah, we'll use a snow cone on uh, Kel. Hopefully, it doesn't die. Wow, she is really weak now. What? What's the. What's the gimmick? I really hope this isn't too easy now when we're maxed out. And the ultimate weapons and shit. Because so far it's going a little bit too well, you know? I think we're halfway through already. Snow count, maxed out, great. Attack, defense, speed, luck rose. Doesn't matter too much since uh, Kel is doing the tickle shit. But still. Uh, what now? Omar, um, you can go ahead and uh, recover your juice. 150 to all uh, friends. That sounds good. Or we could uh, recover heavenly nectar. Yeah, fully recover that. Maybe Dino Smoothie. Yeah, whatever. Let's try Last Resort. You see, we're already more than halfway. Tickle. And then, hopefully we can do this. Uh, Dino Jam on Arbre. No, we can't. She isn't dead yet. Feck. Okay, let's try the... Um, Mesmerize, see if it works. This is... Why is she... She's only attacking. 225. Wow. Here we go. Look at this. Bam! Woo! Almost 5,000 damage! This perfect... Oh, you are quite strong. It seems I must try a bit harder. Oh, here we go. It's not over yet. I jinxed it. Oh, she's full. 
She's full now! And that's just fine. Oh, -ho. we need to, okay. <sighs> what do we want to do? What do we want to do? She is not happy anymore. That's a problem. Maybe she counts as a new entity. So I'm gonna do stare just to see if we can lower it. Kel, I want you to, oh my God. You need to bring back Aubrey. Fully revive her. There you go. And you need to make her happy with your dazzle shit. Makes her happy. Good. Good, she's happy again. Her attack fell, that's great. Aubrey's back in action. Oh! We have random sa What? 600? Oh boy, she's strong! It, 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 it ain't too easy, dude. It, it's way harder than I thought. And we're maxed out, what the fuck? We're all happy, so at least she's not doing anything special in that sense. My god. What am I supposed to do? She's already dead. She has 554 health and she died in one hit. I don't know what to do, man. I, I can't even attack her at this point. And she will go first? Either way, whole pizza. Because Kel will go first. So I want Kel to bring her back. Might as well. Fuck. Life jam. What else? Uh, juice, that's fine. I, I guess you can do rain cloud so we get sad. Wait, where? There. Rain cloud. Okay, please don't die! Whole pizza, please use the whole pizza. God damn it! She's switching our emotions every turn, dude! No more did not succumb. Whole pizza on yourself. Wow, the calories. What is this boss fight? It's worse than Penance from Final Fantasy X. Well, maybe not, but still. I'm just straight up fucked. Jam pack gets, doesn't even matter, dude, because she's gonna do an AOE attack and everyone's gonna be dead again. Look at this. Oh, yeah, you see almost 400 damage on each character. What in the fuck is this battle? Yeah, we're dead. I said that you would regret this, children. Don't make me do this again. Wow! Holy shit, perfect heart. I was expecting a challenge, but that... That is brutal. So someone needs to always... What? Okay, I, I guess we can try one more time. Someone needs to heal every single turn. Someone needs to use Rain Cloud on the next uh, phase when she's not just attacking. And then we attack with Exploit, maybe? <laughs> Fuck. It's insane, that's what it is. One more try and then this episode is freaking over. I can't deal with this. Yeah, we, we need to be sad so it's a dull attack so we can survive that multi-hit or... <laughs> what is it? Area of effect, whatever you want to call it. The emotion beam. And they can't get more than the press. It's only Omori that can get miserable, so I don't think we need to go so far. So for now, in this phase, we can just attack her. Bring her down, last resort, whatever. Tickle. And then uh, refresh. 50%? No wait, that's just for one. That's not what we want. But uh, do it on Omori. Just bring it back. Oh, she's changing her freaking emotions again! And now it's a doll attack! And we're using Last Resort! This is worse than the last fight! This is really, really bad. Yep, 
Yeah, okay, we did a lot of damage to her juice, but still, it's not enough. This is very bad! Bring back Aubrey. Uh, Kel, go ahead and freaking uh, recover juice. No, wait, wait, wait. One more, we can do that. You bring back Aubrey. And you need to heal everybody, so snack time 40% would be good. Yeah, that looks good. Fuck! One hundred fifty. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I think uh, pizza would be better, right? Pizza is uh, two hundred fifty. But now we don't have any juice, so we're, f we're fucked in that sense. And we also need to. God damn it, this boss fight, it's insane! Do I have the full uh, juice recovery? Yeah, we do. We do have a couple of those, so that, that's good. Bring back Aubrey's juice. Aubrey, you can go ahead and use um, Rain Cloud. Double Rain Cloud, that bitch. And Dazzle, so we can bring it up. Uh, bring it back, I mean. Reverse the emotions. See, last time she just attacked, and that made it really easy, but now, not so much. Okay, we're back, we're back. This is good. Omori, red hands. Mm. Will she go first now? I, I forgot about that. Will she? Uh, beat down. No. Arbor, you can go ahead and use the uh, ring cloud. So we just be safe. No. We need to beat her ass. Hero, go ahead and use Ring Cloud. M decides to let Hero live, okay. I see, this time she didn't change our emotions, so uh, the Ring Cloud is wasted a little bit. Okay, we have 10 energy. I don't know if it's worth it. Mori feels miserable. Well, nice. We could save our energy for the next phase, but I don't know if it's worth it, actually. But hey, why not? We, we might as well just use it. Uh, okay. Check all... Bring back our juice, please. Where is it? 100 should be uh, should be enough, right? Or melon? We'll use that. Steals Kel's breath away. Oh, the juice is gone! God damn it! But it doesn't matter. She's still, you know, letting her guard down. So hopefully this does a lot of damage. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> oh, you're quite strong. Okay, second phase. I don't think we're ready for this. At least she doesn't attack this first turn. And all her like debuffs are gone as well. So how are we supposed to do this? She's gonna do so much damage in the next turn. Yeah, she, she's back in full strength now, so we need to start by, you know, staring at her. <sighs> Aubrey, I believe Rain Cloud, so we can keep those stats, I mean, those emotions, when she eventually fucks it up again. Omori, I mean, Kel, I don't know if you go first, probably not, so go ahead and heal everybody with your whole pizza or something. And you need to make her happy, so yeah, Dazzle, reduce uh, foe attack. 
Please kill. I mean, hero, don't die. That pizza is, in, is insane. Wow! Okay, okay, I'm worried. Shit! Why is she so fucking strong? Well, at least we're all sad, but wow, Omori is gonna die. And being sad makes it we go, we go last. It's really, really bad. Uh, hold pizza. Kel would be first of us, so. I don't know what to do, man. Uh, snow cone. I have no idea how to do this. It's insane. It's just utterly insane, this boss fight. Uh, bring back. Might as well use jam packets because we're gonna die either way. <laughs> okay, that was really bad. So Kel goes first and then she fucks us all up. Yeah, we're dead again. Wowie! This is insane. It is truly insane that boss fight. I don't I don't wanna give up. <laughs> I really don't. One more try. Brought this upon ourselves. Yeah, of course we did. Heal it up, baby. Hold kicken. Oh, I forgot the rain cloud. I'm so stupid. I get it. Move on, please. Not nice. Let's see how good exploit is. I don't think it's worth it, but uh, maybe. Yeah. Nothing special. Okay, don't forget this time. We need we need to Someone needs to use Rain Cloud. And she's not dealing that much damage, so I think Rain Cloud is all we need, to be honest. But we also need to recover our juice, so I think Arby can do that. Number you recover juice with your melon smoothie. Yeah, that should be enough. You go ahead and tickle so we do all damage with red hands. Um, hero, you recover health with. Yeah, the whole kicking. <laughs> I don't know why I pronounce it like that, but it's just fun to say kicking. Wait, already recovers juice, right? We need to use Rain Cloud, so yeah. That was the thing. We need to use Rain Cloud. But every time I do this, she's just gonna attack. No, never mind. <laughs> okay, good thing that she did attack like that this time. But now that's really weak. That sucks. It's so bad!
But we need to play it safe. I mean, there's no time limit in that sense, so... We just need to play it safe. And be fully prepared once the second phase starts. And we're all sad in the battle. <laughs> um, attack normally, why not? Man, we're not dealing much damage in this battle. We're just fucking around all the time. Uh, what else? I feel so lost, in a, in a way. Oh, you can do Rain Cloud. Uh, Kel, recover, juice. And you need to dazzle. That shit again? And now Kel is dead. Fuck! Man, my first try went best. This is just sad. It's going worse each time. It's really, really bad, this entire fight. At least we didn't go down to one health. Kick in, please! Thanks, okay, we're back. We're all sad. Oh, except Kel, but yeah. Okay, so how do we do this safe? Like, Omori attacks? Aubrey, use... Uh, Rain Cloud? Kel, like, what is he supposed to do? We don't need to heal up this round, so... Take goes, we do more damage with red hands. This music makes it a little bit uh, difficult to concentrate as well, but uh, what can we do? We're using Rain Cloud there. We need to... <sighs> I'm having a really, really hard time concentrating for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the music is too loud. I can just turn it down a little bit for myself. Um, Slack time. Big damage! I see the rain cloud isn't uh, wasted here since we go to depressed instead. But we always need to use it in case she changes everything. She has to do dull attacks or else she just de deals way too much damage on us. Too bad we can't make her as ecstatic or something. So how far have we gone? Not even halfway. This is, this is so slow, this is so bad. And in terms of uh, entertaining, I don't know, man. Just fucking skip this entire episode at this point. I mean, go ahead. Um, I feel very lost and I don't know what to do. <sighs> we need to save Last Resort for the next one. Oh, I think it's a little bit too strong. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's not that good. Or... I don't know. You, you're using uh, Mesmerize, or, you know, so they attack Hero. It's not worth it. Because she does that attack that attacks everyone, so it, it doesn't matter. It's only for single attacks, and they're not strong, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of useless. So yeah, Omori attack normally. Play it safe, use Rain Cloud. Use it, tickle, and then recover juice. Melon smoothie. Okay, normal attack, that's fine. Oh, we don't have juice, of course. Well, no worries. Let's continue, like this. Uh, red hands. Rain cloud. It's all always. Kel always goes first, so that that's good in a way. 
In this turn, we can uh, go ahead and... Is just gonna spam the juice recovery, actually. Wow. Bam! Why is it waiting so long? Sometimes. Because I am pressing A. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I am. Okay, so now Aubrey is in a little bit of danger, so... Let's see how we do this. Kel must heal her first. Just continue with the red hands. Aubrey, I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> Just continue with uh, Rain Cloud in case you need to heal her up right now. So 250 combo meal. What more could you ask for? Uh, not a lot, actually. We should use the snow cones. I mean, it just... We have five of them. And this would be the hardest hardest battle in the game, so this is the only real time to use it. Where is my snow cone? There it is. Bring her back. And then, uh, Hero, what should you do? I don't know. I really don't know. Eight hundred thirty-one. Okay. I yeah, ranked out didn't do anything, but it's fine. We're not playing it safe. That's that's all that matters right now. Let's see how close are we to the second phase? It's looking good. It's slow, but it's safe. Uh, this turn we can go ahead and do more damage. Continue with Rain Cloud. That's your main objective. Tickle. And continue with Juice Recovery. So freaking good. Yeah, there it is. Just that we do dull attacks now. That really, really sucks. The next turn we can do... What was it called? No, was it Mesmerize? What? Why is it the next uh, phase already? I'm not ready for this! I am not ready. Oh, we are definitely not ready for this. Yeah, this turn is just gonna be ultra safe, so go ahead and use uh, kicking right away. I don't know if it works though, if it's gonna be enough. Rain cloud. Yeah, Kel must go first. We need to recover everyone's health right away. So go back. Kel recovers health. Aubrey recovers. Uh, uh, uses rain cloud. Omori, I don't know what you want. Yeah, you need to stare. That's the thing. Uh, rain cloud. Kel go first. Uh, recover everyone's health with the, ch the chicken. And you dazzle. That's that's the one. There we go. And then Kel, right? Good. Everyone is maxed out. We should survive this. We're sad. It's a dull attack. Right? It's so fucking insane, dude. It's a dull attack and she still one hits Aubrey, who has over 550 health. How are you supposed to survive that? Like, literally, how? There's no way. She has a flower crown and everything. Oh, guard! Is that it? We need to guard every time? Is that it? We need to use guard. I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah, either way, we are fucked. She's gonna attack everyone every turn now. So it just, it's over. Uh, jam packets, whatever. Doesn't really matter though. Now she's gonna attack everyone again, and we're dead. Bam. It is extremely... D 
difficult. Yeah, there's there's literally literally no way we can come back from this. More is gonna die here as well. Maybe I should um, use the Dino Jam so uh, at least Aubrey cannot survive one turn, but yeah. Either way, she is extremely ultra difficult and supposedly you're supposed to, you know, uh, all be sad or happy so she does dull attacks and on top of that we need to use uh, guard. That's the only way we can survive her freaking beam of destruction. So, I need to do some more attempts off-screen, need to try out some more strategies. I don't want to look it up on the internet, I want to try to figure this battle out on my own. There has to be some way. We will try it. But with that, I'll thank you all very much for watching this episode. Uh, sorry for the entire perfect heart battle. Must be pretty irritating and not very fun, more interesting to look at. But for me, it is... Hope you enjoyed the black space part at least. It's good to be back playing Omori. I'll see you in the next episode. Take uh, good care of yourself. I love you all. And bye for now.